Welcome back to another Bargain Savage video, and today I have for you these Radiance earbuds from iEdge. Now, I've never heard of iEdge before. They were five bucks at a liquidation store, and if you look in the back, you can see they are very chrome. The whole things are chrome. Now, it says they have a microphone, and on the back of the box, it says there's a 90 day limited warranty, and that they have a 10 millimeter driver, 3.5 millimeter plug. They are 32 ohms, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and the cord length is 3 feet. It also has a warning on the box that says, This product can expose you to chemicals including DEHP, which is known to the state of California to cause cancer. For more information, go to this website that's listed on this box. The things I do for you guys. But nevertheless, let's give it a shot. We're going to open them up and see what they sound like. Okay, so in the packaging, there is nothing but the packaging itself. And then the earbuds are in this little hard plastic case, which is kind of nice. But it's only really nice if they sound good. So, not sure how to get into them. Lid just pops open. No hinges or anything like that. You can see very shiny chrome. And so not very convenient to get them out of here. So I'm gonna guess the way they're wrapped. I wanna grab it by the 3.5 millimeter plug here, which I cannot do. So I'm gonna need a little stick. There we go. And I don't think these would ever go back inside of here by me so yeah case kind of useless now has a 3.5 TRRS jack on it now these are very shiny but uh, not marked left or right that is always a pet peeve of mine now they do have a button volume up and down it's on a rocker no marking indication of anything of what it does it's got a nice stopper they're already divided and there's your cord length so let's fire them up let's see how they sound before I do that I will tell you that the cord is it feels semi cheap not super cheap it feels a little thin but uh, not too thin but it doesn't have a quality feel to it for sure all right I'm plugged in See what the fit is like. I don't like this style either. I don't feel that they stay in my ears very well. I'll give them a test shake right off the bat here. So they're not bad. They don't feel loose. They're not making a good seal. So I think that's gonna really kill the bass but they don't feel uncomfortable by any means okay Right off the bat, I'm gonna say, these do not sound that bad. They're not great, of course, like any ones that we have tested in the cheap dollar range, but uh, they're not bad. Uh, they play way higher than they need to, and when it's that high, then it is fairly distorted and a lot of sibilance on the top end. Now, when you turn them down a couple notches, the vocals and the high, high end and the mid range is pretty decent, uh, but the bass seems to be 
uh, a little lacking and a little muddy and a little bit distorted. So the bass isn't real great on these. I mean, it's there, but uh, it's not it's not clean bass by any means. The mid and the highs are definitely better on these. Now I did notice that this here, you can hear clicking, but it did absolutely nothing. It didn't turn my volume up or down or turn on my assistant or anything like that. So I'm guessing that this is absolutely useless. And now looking at it right now, I don't even see a microphone hole, but uh, let's give that a shot right now and see what that sounds like. So this is the sound of the microphone on the earbuds hanging from my neck as you would normally wear the earbuds. So after a few attempts, I have noticed that sometimes the microphone will not work. So I'm guessing that is a short somewhere in the wiring. But uh, if you don't hold it up too close to your mouth, then it will not click out so far. But I would not trust this microphone very far. Okay, well, there you have it. That's the microphone. I don't know if it works or doesn't work because I'm not going to review the footage until the end. So you'll have to determine what you think of the microphone or maybe it didn't work at all. Uh, I'm guessing it's not going to be very clear because there is no spot for the sound to get in if the microphone is located in here. Anyway, I supposed to give these a number rating out of like 1 to 10 for a cheap earbud, I would maybe give them, from what I tested before, a 6. They blow away all the Dollar Tree stuff like anything does, pretty much, mm, yeah, anything blows away Dollar Tree stuff. Uh, most of the Dollarama stuff, I would have to take another listen again to see if they compare to the two top brands of Dollarama, but they're definitely, definitely close to those two good brands from Dollarama. I think they were Mood Lab and uh, Rex, or maybe that is the same one. I can't remember. But uh, these are very comparable in there. And uh, that's all I gotta say about that. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, then please like and subscribe. And have a great day.